So target ID, again, you guys, um, most people here in the video, if you've used a total station, you're, you're aware of the struggles that can happen with trying to lock onto the wrong prism. Again, it's happened to me a lot. You know, you'll, you'll take, a, you'll do a power search. Again, if you're using Leica technology, you do a power search and it might catch your backside. If you're in a busy environment, it might pick up another prism inside of a, a construction environment, right? Like this has all happened to us out in the field. And when you take a measurement like, oh, you know, it's, you know, you remeasured your backside, you measured another prism, another foresight prism. And what it allows us to do with this target ID, again, this is completely separate from any of the auto pull or the tilt height functionality. Uh, th these are three separate technologies that are kind of built together to um, allow us to be able to have the most efficiency possible. The target ID allows us to verify in kind of construction environments and areas where we're using um, total stations with lots of reflectors around to be able to verify that we're you know, locking and measuring to the correct target, all right? Um, the way it kind of works is that uh, it does have uh, an LED light source that comes off of the AP20, and that is picked up by our um, existing total station technology. So inside of um, the search functionalities of, of the total station. And that's the big thing here. Um, you're allowed to uh, use a total station that you already have with this technology. So if you have a TS-16, if you have an MS-60, if you have a TS-60, you can start using this technology as soon as it starts to ship, right? So this, this AP20, it's just, it, it built, it, it's able to use that existing power search technology to, and, and search technology to be able to um, um, allow us to um, verify the targets out in the field, okay?